What up homeboys, this is one of the hardest announcements I ever had to make. As of today, the Defias Black Guard has no leadership, no cause, no future. You may think this is because of the Engor ban that is actually not the case. After a meeting held last night, we have decided that we will not call into protest for Engor's ban or any of the further ramifications of it. As a matter of fact, we are out of the guild, we have no intention of rebuilding the guild, and we will find a guild to merge with in the near future. So what happened? It all started about 26 hours ago. Engor was yanking in Westfall and killing the Defias Trader to stop people from doing the quest. For about 23 hours at that time, he had been sitting down on his computer yanking the Trader and doing nothing else. He took a week off work to do this and after going about a day or two days without sleep uh, his mind started to to slide first he started to get really really upset at chat at the officer corps and members of the guild for not participating in Westfall enough even though it was late at night and it was a weekday where people had to work the next day after many of those people went in Westfall four hours that very day I was not at home at the time, I was not in the loop at the time, and some officers that were told them to be more reasonable, people have to work, people cannot just take a week of vacation to gank noobs in Westfall, etc, etc. He proceeded by demoting many of the ranking officers, officers that were in the guild for about a year at this point, that spent a year promoting and growing the guild. Of course, that led to other officers also getting upset at the demotion or complaining that you shouldn't demote people that built a website for you for free, people that ran the guild for years, people that did all this work for you. You shouldn't demote them for not being able to do eight hours of work to you for free. That didn't go well with them and he demoted many more people. I was not online at the time. I got demoted for not being in game. Uh, a little bit of context, I spent the last two days traveling to a 400 km away city to get an MRI scan or done and other things. Uh, I live in a rural area in the middle of nowhere and there is not a lot of good hospitals here. A doctor here found a growth in my neck and we were very scared that it could have been malign tumor, you could say and because it grew very fast. A long story short, after doing the studies and doing the checks, it seems like everything points to the fact that it is benign and I'm gonna be fine. But you can imagine, when a ball grows in your neck, you're gonna get rid of it as soon as possible, so I kinda panicked and traveled just to get that done. Uh, we're gonna get result, definitive results of the biopsy in uh, two weeks, but I am not worried anymore. It seems uh, ev every single part of the evidence points that it is not. The doctor himself is very confident that it's not. Okay, that's neither here nor then. So, I tell him this. I tell him. I may have cancer. I didn't know what I'm telling you right now before because I was like doing the tests. I tell him, I may have cancer. I, I just cannot be ganking noobs in Westfall right now. I'm gonna be home tomorrow. The screenshots speak for themselves. You can see them right there. Yes. And he told me to shut up and go to Westfall right after hearing that news. And that led to some other officers quitting. I gotta be honest with you, I kinda, I kinda giggled when he said that because I thought to myself, there is no way somebody, somebody can be so dumb. So to say that maybe he's trolling, I, I legitimately thought he got hacked for a while because like it just didn't make sense. Some of the officers got upset at what they heard because like I didn't make this public obviously but like some of my friends in the guild knew about like what I was going through and they call him and say like what the hell are you, is your problem and you cannot just do that and he started trying to take really low blows at them. Okay, like, I'm not gonna show the screenshots because those, I believe, are way too nasty, but, like, friends that have, like, problems in their past, like, years ago, and we chatted about it, like, a long time ago, and, like, he knew about it, and he started taking low, low, really low blows at members of the staff, of the officer corps. 
for no reason other just to be hurtful and that led to the remaining officer corps quitting the guild altogether. Not 10 minutes after that, Engor gets banned. At first, it was widely believed that it was due because of the traitor. The full story is actually a little bit more complicated. He was warned not to kill the traitor and he proceeded to insult and berate the game masters on Discord and in game. Keep in mind, he has a vested interest in making the server look bad after losing his guild just to save face, as you would. So during a meeting that we had with all the officer corps that he kicked out, we decided that we will not call into protest for Engor's ban, we will not object Engor's ban for now, it was a temporary ban by the way and he will be back, and we also heard that he is rerolling alliance now, go figure. As of the future of the guild, the guild as it is, is no more. We left the guild, we made a placeholder guild just to keep everybody in contact until we find another guild to merge with. We have no interest in rebuilding the guild, nobody of the officer corps really has an interest in becoming guild master and restarting the whole thing either. We will still do PvP events, but they will not be guild business, they will be maybe a stream business, maybe just for fun people randomly will do it. It will not be hosted by the guild anymore. Of course this is very sad. After being on a guild that we were for a year trying to build from the ground out and promote and grow, you can just blow up the whole guild in a matter of minutes. Engor had a bit of a temper before, Engor was always unstable and petty, but we never thought he would come to this. So yes, the Fires Blackguard is no more. Engor is dead, long live Engor. And also another thing, there's a lot of guilds that are already trying to take the Fires Blackguard's place, many of them are... <laughs> oh, they are not endorsed by any of us, Th that's their thing, they can do their thing, we're gonna do something else, okay? Uh, the the Fires Blackguard does not endorse any new guild forming, and if we ever find a, a guild that I want to get the stream involved in again, uh, you may hear that soon. Uh, otherwise, all I can ask of you is that you subscribe and stick around because we will do something, we will find something to do, we will still do PvP events. It's just a sad situation and we gotta get through it, boys.